This is Lesson 2, Location Selection. So whether you're running a restaurant or a business, where you put your restaurant will determine how successful you are. So let's go to Actions, Open New Restaurant. Now as we look through, you'll see that this list corresponds with the map. So this is A. A is located here. There's um, people within four blocks is really what we want to look at because these are going to be our customers. Maybe sometimes within 10 blocks, okay? So A has 16,000 families, no couples or business. It's going to cost $1,200 per month and the square feet doesn't really matter, okay? So that's how we look at this. Now let's look at the highest and lowest rents. This one's 1200 1,000, 1,400, 1,800, 951, that's pretty low. Let's keep that in our memory bank. 1,600, 2,000, 1,300, 1,100, 2,100. Okay, this is the highest I've seen so far. 1,600, 1,500. Okay, so it's going to be 2,112 and 951. Now look at the people within four blocks. What's the largest amount of business people? So there's zero, 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 14,000, zero, 17,000, 6,000, zero, 11,000, zero, zero. Okay, I think 17,000 was the highest. Okay, let's go ahead and close this for now. Go to Actions, New Survey. We're going to ask them, do you eat out as a business, couple, or family? And at what restaurant did you last eat? Okay, let's go ahead and uncheck couples and families because our demographic of customers that we're focusing on is business people. So, which restaurant attracts the most people? At what restaurant did they last eat? Most of the business people are not eating anywhere which tells me that Bistro 21 may not be in the right spot. Um, but for the business people that do eat out, it looks like Bistro 21 is the most popular. And that makes sense because that's where the office buildings are, right? So Bistro 21. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close this. Now let's open our restaurant. So remember Bistro 21 it's doing okay, and we could go next door to them. It does say locating in the same general area as a business busy restaurant can be advantageous for a startup. But I feel like there's a lot of customers that we aren't reaching. You know why? They're more than 10 blocks away. We want to be within four blocks. So let's see what we can do. Let's see, H, E, C, and F. It wouldn't make sense to go over here. There's no business people, okay? so. H, E, C, and F. Let's start with C. C is going to cost us $1,400. There's 11,000 customers in the general area. Hmm. Okay. E is going to cost $951. That's it. Ooh, that's cheap. But there's only 6,300 business people. That's not a lot of customers. I don't feel like that would be worth it. Uh, F is $1,600 a month, which is higher, but it does have 17,000 business people right there. And let's check out H. $1,300, so it's cheaper, and 14,000 business people. And it is in the general area of this restaurant, which is attracting customers. But I think there could be more than right answer, more than one right answer for this. I'm not sure. I really want to go with the highest, mm, I'm kind of waffling between F and H, but since this restaurant is not really drawing that much customers, because most of them are not eating out, I'm going to go ahead and take a gamble and go with F. All right. Oh, and it tells you the cost per square foot per week. That's kind of good to know. 
right, here's my restaurant. We can see the dining room. We can see the kitchen. Let's run it forward a month and see what happens. Speed it up. Look at our customers and our little employees working hard. There's our chefs in the kitchen and our dishwashers. We can see everything that's going on. Now we're going to be watching down here for the profit and over here you can see the cash flow, what's going on there. Now, if we're not making the profit goal of 4,000 within three to four weeks, it says we can do actions and move our restaurant, uh, but I don't want to do that. So let's take a look and see what's going on. Ooh, we have a profit of $11,000. <laughs> We did it! Okay, so that was the right call. They tried to trick us by saying that we should be over by a busy restaurant, but I think what's important is that the restaurant should be successful. So that restaurant wasn't pulling in a lot of people when we looked at the survey. So, all right, let's move on to the next one.